set to go green here at Talladega. Green flag is out. Here, traveling up front with her teammate Henry Williams. Check out Eric Monaco on the 07. Uh, the lower right there, that's Alexander Rose. So he's not going to try to come for the lead. To the front, hey, Eric Monaco trying to lead lap number one here. He's going four wide in the middle of the pack. That's alright, but five wide, however, it won't work, and they are going to go five wide. Those guys have to be careful here, right there. It's just a day to 500 winner. It looks like they settled back to four wide. It's okay, but five wide, I guarantee, will not work. So we've got a few guys that lost the um, draft already. Alexander Rowan, a out front. Oh, and we have a wreck already in the bag. William Brock in the 20 just went around right there. 47 looks like he was also involved. It's at the line, it's gonna be Alexander Rowan, a. And caution flag is out already here. Only on lap number two. Right, Monaco, Eli Bright, your top two. Let's get a look at the replay. Let's look at what happened here with the 20 of William Brock. Let's see what happened. Looks like he was signaling to go down pit road. It's back up on the track and nothing for the 88 and others right there. And one goes around right there, the 83, 78, 47. Just freezing up a lot. I don't know why. You know, all one right there. The 41 also involved in the 84. 47 going right through the grass right there. Another look at it right here. Kind of bounced right there and then right up into the pack. And went around right there. This freezing so much. Um, yeah, that was your caution. Let's get you um, back to the restart. Set to go back green. Alexander Rogue is your leader, followed by Eli Bright, Richard Kinghart, Bremer. The Here we go. I know he's freezing on me. I don't know what I'm seeing right now. So, um, Alexander Rowe out front in, in the eight, continuing to lead here. Freezing a lot, I'm gonna have to fix that after this race. And it looks like we have another wreck behind them right there. It's a 12, it looks like he went around. And Costa Plague is gonna be out once again. At the line is Eric Harris on Alexander Road. We have Nasco since he was getting out of this. Costa Plague is out. Let's get a look at the replay. Let's look at what happened in Jefferson right there in the 30. One same thing that happened with um, 20 right there. Went around Fisher getting involved, but he was able to keep on the 55, the 12, the 84 gets into the 12 right there. And, um, 7 was also involved right there again. 48 James Bowles also getting up in the wreck right here. The 96, the 38. The look at it right here. Exact same thing that happened to the 20, except a little bit earlier. Great diving by Fisher, I did it to uh, keep the car straight. But too hard into the wall right there. 42 is also involved, and um, all those guys right there. A break for them. Let's get you back at a restart. Uh, 
Alexander Rowe, and Hate is your leader, brought by Eric Monaco, Mark Fez, and we put Green Flag is back out. Um, he continued to lead right there. He pushed Eric Monaco. Eric Monaco is going to go back to where I believe. Halfway mark here at Talladega, the three-car breakaway, Alexander Rowe, Eric Monaco, and your Daytona um, 500 winner, Buford. Are you using a caution? Nope. Let's make our way to the end of So, pretty much the only dispatch will be back with our title now. That they have a chance of winning of some sort. Alexander Rowe continues to lead Chevy 1 and 2. It is a 6 of um, James King Harden. We almost won the 25 number, which is pretty fast. It's like most of the race trying to get by the fourth quarter is getting to about the fourth quarter now. Um, Zero also in the mix as a new bird. Lab Brothers is also up here. He's pretty good at these super speed rates. Look at this on the, on the team right here. Wade Brummer, the rookie. Yeah, Wade Brummer, the rookie. He's up here with these guys. They're up for him. Is it gonna go three wide for the lead? Here comes Buford. Buford in the double zero as he takes the lead now. We come into the final closing laps of this race. Line six to go as they're four wide. Zero with a big lead here as they side by side behind him. At a 43, Marcos Lopez. Still looking for his first win, actually. Right rear from the 43 here. Lap car, these guys are coming up on a lap car. Yes, they are. The only one of Bobby Stringle. How will things play out? Here comes Marcos Yepes for the lead. He's gonna catch the all one extremely fast here, and Eli Bright gets held up. And Bright gets around him. Now the eight of Alexander Rose getting held up right there. Tough break for the eight who let put on part of this race is they're finally going to get around the 01 without um, wrecking there. Out front is the double zero of Buford. With them Brock, they're gonna, he's going to be the next driver they catch. He is just now crossing the start finish line. There's Jonathan Buford in the double zero. Out front, Marcos Yepes running second. Kenny Jones, um, Jennifer Buford, the Daytona 500 winner, and James Richardson in the six. Right there. Zero continuing to lead a five car breakaway for the win here. Jordan Fisher leading this pack right here. Black Wright and others. It's a one track block. Um, six right there aggressively blocking. The uh, the one, not the one. That's Anthony Jones right there. And the other one was Marco Ciapez. The 43 Valvoline Charger right there. Coming around to lead this lap is the 43 of Jepez. Three laps to go. They're definitely going to catch William Brock and um, Sammy Davis right there. 
side, we have from the 43. Here. At, at the line, two laps to go at Talladega for Marcos Yepes. Trying to hold off these guys as they approach that part of William Brock. He's going to play a big role here in this finish as Marcos Yepes, he's going to slow. He goes up to the outside. William Brock goes up there. He's going to slow him down. And look at the 44 and Anthony Jones as they fly right by those guys right there. And Anthony Jones to the lead with Buford. Jennifer Buford trying to get a second win here already. As Marcos Yepes gets held up right there. More drivers um, getting held up. White flag is out. Here comes the 44. Buford's on the inside. Trying to help each other here. They got a lap car of Audra Baranowskis also coming up. The 10 right there, or the 43 with a huge run on the back stretch. Look at that. Marcos Yepes with a huge run. They got one final corner to settle this. Out of turn four, Jennifer Buford trying to get another win. As they dive it down into the trioval, checker flag is in the air. And at the line, it's gonna be the 44 once again. Holy cow, what a finish right there. As Jennifer Buford scores another win. Man, and only in her second season, I think, she's going to get a win here once again. And it looks like we may have a female who will be the new king of the super speedways here. Really. Um, as Jennifer Buford gets the win, the double zero... Couldn't get there in time. Man, what a finish. Her heart's got to be beating right there. As we're going to take a look at that finish once more. So right here, into the trial, the Devil Zero tried to force the um 44 to the, um gets into the 11, but that didn't work. And then right here, look at that. That's the margin of victory right there as um, Jennifer Buford. Edging out Jonathan Buford by um, a full car length right there. Marcos Yepes, um, he ended up ends up third, and then these guys right here. That's the margin of victory for those guys. And man, what a finish! Congratulations to the 44. Of Jennifer Buford look at that finish right there it's got to be one of the best finishes here so far in RPL let's get you down to victory lane or um, let's get you down to the full race results so both Buford, let me make sure I get his name right okay yeah it was so yeah Jennifer Buford and Jonathan Buford one and two here not sure what the relationship is there um, if you want to comment that down below, that would be great. So I can, you know, yeah. So, um, yeah, Buford's one and two. Marcos Yepes is getting third. Great one for him. James Richardson, also a great run. He finishes fourth. Eric Monaco, Anthony Jones, Valera, um, eight, or, uh, how do you, how do you, how do you say that name? Maldito H. Let's just say Maldito H. Um, Eli Bright and Alexander Rowe rounds out your top ten. Here's the rest of your finishing race results right there. 
Looks like only 28 drivers finished this race and 24 of them on the lead lap. Let's just get you down to victory lane where Buford celeb or actually, you know what? I just I just made the biggest mistake ever. The 44 did not win the Daytona 500. That was the 84. That, yeah, that was that was a where's the 84? Yeah, that was the 84 who won a Daytona 500. The 44 led a whole lot of laps but didn't win. That's what it was. That's what got me confused. So the 84 was actually the one that won the Daytona 500. And that was my mistake. Sorry about that. So this is not a second win of the season. This is only the first. Um, wow, that was a fail. Let's just get you down in victory lane. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. Great job. You the band, buddy. Oh, you guys. Sway the wheel that piece, baby. 